we're going to do a proper circle check on a truck. First and foremost, pop your hood. It's usually a thing that has that picture. It's either located next to your brake or up by the brake pedal above it. Most cases. Pop your hood. You have power steering, which is also on these vehicles. You see up here, it's your booster too for your brakes. Looks like that. Pop it out. This one says add a little, which is good. I don't mind that. Considering it's not really leaking that I can tell. The back looks kind of dry to me. From where I put the new line on. So it's good. Check your belt. This is the belt. See if there's any cracks in it. You see down there. See what kind of condition that's in. Fairly cheap, but when it blows, you're done. Oil. Your washer fluid. Check your battery terminals. Are they tight? Alright, make sure they're nice and snug. Brake fluid. Check your brake fluid. That needs to get changed because it shouldn't ever look that dark. It's from heat. Make sure it's taken care of. Look for leaks in your radiator, air coolers in that. See there's a coolant, there's an AC leak here. That's not good, but it's not gonna hurt the engine any. Look for this kind of kind of stuff up here. See there's nothing there, right? Then look here and see it's leaking out of here. You can see the stickers with words, try to read them. Even if you're not able to read. Now I'll show you something that you know people don't really realize. Okay. That hose. Okay. Goes from the turbo. Goes down here. Into this thing. If you look down there you can see where it technically goes in by the bottom. Down in here. Goes through this center piece. Which is an air cooler out the other side down in there comes up to the throttle body which is electrical comes up through here and into the intake this is the intake piece goes into the center of the engine this is only supposed to have air through it now a little hard for you to see but that shouldn't be have coated in oil like back here the EGR system part of it it's clean if you look right there you can see oil it shouldn't be there. Not a good thing. This has got oil in it too. This has got a little bit of trace of oil, which tells me the turbo is possibly leaking oil. Not a good thing, but I think I got my suspicions on this. Now there's two ways of checking this beautiful thing. Since this engine has been running, it's warm. There should be a level line. You just try to shake it a bit. Seems all right, you're good. But you can also, even though it is warm, see it says never open hot. And listen. System's pressurized. See, since I'm here, check these battery connections again. You see them all right? Hear that noise? That's not a good noise. It's not a bad noise, but it's not a good noise either. We'll just close that. Okay, that's your technical check on things. This little rod here, this is your tranny fluid. It's usually black or yellow or sometimes red. But it's usually a tube that big around. You check it when the engine's running, not when it's like this. Always check your oil. Usually this one's yellow, especially on a GM. Now the next thing you start checking, this is a visual check. Since most of the people that drive these trucks don't carry torque wrenches on them, you can only do a visual right now. 
See, that looks okay. I'll show you a wheel here in a couple minutes. It's not okay. So you check your lug nuts on here. They, they look pretty good. While you're at it, check your tires. Tread's fairly good. Wear bars are got some meat in between the wear bar and the tread. This one, however, it's going to have to get changed soon, very soon. Also, check your load rate. This is what this is load, load rated for. All right. Always check your load rates. How much weight you can put on that. That's your strongest point. This is aluminum. This is your weakest point. And check these back lug nuts. They look okay. While you're down here, take a look at your rotor. Does it look clean? Yeah. She really can't get in there that well. Put one knee on the ground. See that thing right there running up? That's the drive shaft. Just take a visual look. If you want, grab the truck. See how much movement you get by rocking the truck back and forth with your hand. She didn't get any. If you notice the drive shaft's block right there, yeah, that's from the exhaust system. That needs to get cleaned. Check for leaks in your hydraulic tanks if you're driving something that has hydraulics. <coughs> Check your equipment. You know, it won't take much. It takes a couple minutes a day. Like, see this tire? Yeah, there's no tread left on this. This has got to get changed. But this one's a hard rubber tire. If you guys don't know what hard rubber is, see there's a hole in it, it's not going to go flat. I should be able to see there's another hole here. Look here, have a nail. I got nailed. <laughs> and you see there's bolts that hold the rim together. And then hold the rim, these, these lug nuts hold the rim to this. And by the way, these things are a godsend. This one doesn't have a cap on it. But... Always carry spare fuel, if not for somebody, at least for yourself. You can also put bio in that. Check your plates. Take a look at your lines. Uh, it looks like it's got a little bit of a seepage in it, but not bad. Check the condition of the stuff. It's just a quick walk around. You know, take a couple of minutes. Now, you remember I said I'd show you a wheel that had issues? We had to change a couple of these lug nuts. See, these are Fords. These small guys are Fords. All three of these. Did you see the wear mark here? Well, if you look at the other ones, you see that the wheel has shifted, which is why these have been changed anyway. And what that does is it shows you this. It shows you spaces. Like the big ring here. If you took the wheel and you moved it with one of these, it'd give you a space. And check it, take a look at the brake system. Alright, this thing's gonna be needing brakes in a, about a month or so. Maybe a little less. Take a look in here. See, they said that's fairly dry since I changed that, which to me is a good thing. Now, for the oil being here, that's a kind of a given thing. It's always been happening. This one could be leaking now, for all I know, which goes down to the power steering. And they really don't have much boost if you think about it, because this thing's always rubbing like this. This thing's shaking. And it's technically, you see how it's taking the paint off of there? There's probably a hole in this. This truck probably doesn't have any boost in reality. Let me move that away from that and just kind of take a look. See? I don't feel a whole war through it yet, so that's a good thing. Well, those air coolers on these truck, stock trucks are notorious. Oh yeah, there should be a wheel well in here in case anybody's curious. Yeah, we uh, need some self-tapping screws to put one of them in. You can 
Always check your sticker too. <coughs> check your seat belts, make sure they're safe. Even if you don't use them. Check your e-brake once in a while. And always, periodically, get your odometer. And yeah, the truck's a little dirty. Sorry guys, it's a little filthy. But it's been doing work today, which is kind of a given. And those uh, pieces of plastic, paper and plastic there, they're for my tag lights. These things back here that are sitting up on the deck, that's to protect the, the truck from them. And since I have a unique truck that doesn't always do what I want it to do, I'm just going to check and see how many markers I actually have. I'm missing one. I got one marker missing. And I got three on the top that aren't working, which are quite legal. I don't really need them up there, but... Oh, I'm missing one on the back, too. And my tag markers are working, which is good. Lights up on the rack. They're working. Corner's working. How about my dash? Yeah, all the lights on the dash are working. So we're good. And the back to auto. But while I'm in here, let's take a quick look here. And Looks like I need to get a light for up in there again. Switch is missing though too. He's had all that stuff there at one time. Yeah, anyway, that's your simple uh, walk around for most trucks. Nothing big to it. You also should check this kind of stuff, see the plastic's broke. But there was a license plate bracket here which has been moved plates were moved up to the bumper but still that should have technically somebody should have enough common sense nice enough me to take your all these stitches down and I'll show you what holds it together see these little plastic things can you see that it holds that piece of plastic to that piece of plastic another one there a couple more there actually these ones are bolts over there, the pieces are missing. A couple of zip ties here that do nothing because they've been ripped out. Right, plastic tabs. See, there's one of those, another one of those stylish plastic tabs there. Just laziness. A nice bump there, and there's some marks here. Makes me wonder. Anyway. Neighbors over here don't know how to drive that great. <laughs> 